Hi, my name is Kayla Stewart and this is my testimony. I remember at a young age going to church with my Nanny Hinkley. Um, she was always a devout Christian role model in my life, but it wasn't until later on in life that I understood who God was or what being saved meant. I had gone through things um, early on in life that had made me angry and it made me turn to things that I shouldn't have been doing and it made me hurt people that I loved and I cared about and I was very self-centered and selfish. Um, my brother and I would go to different vacation Bible schools around the area and that's how I stumbled upon First Baptist Church. It was July 2002. Um, I remember sitting in the sanctuary and this woman was telling the story of Joseph and the mini coat of collars. And I remember being 10 years old and hearing how he could forgive his brothers for what they had done and that he still loved them after all that time. And it made me realize that I can let go of that anger and that I can forgive and be forgiven. Once she was done telling the story, um, I walked up to her and I told her how much I loved it. And that's when she asked me if I was saved. And I was very confused because I didn't know what that meant. So I told her, no, I wasn't. And she took me by the hand and we walked to the office and she pulled out a white Bible and she opened it to Romans 5.8. But God demonstrated his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. And we said a prayer, and I, I asked God to forgive me for my sins. And I knew in that moment that I was saved and that He was mine. He was my Savior. It wasn't until several years later um, that my family and I would attend Emmanuel Southern Baptist Church in New Martinsville. Um, between that time of being saved and, and attending there, I, uh, I had gone through a lot. Um, I had, we had moved around uh, and I had suffered the loss of my sister, Christy. Um, and that was when we kind of sat down as a family and we realized that we needed to go to church because I was, I was confused and upset and doing things that I shouldn't have been doing. And I turned away from God instead of to God in those moments. I was baptized at Emmanuel Baptist Church in um, February 2008, and I remember the feeling coming out of the water. I, all that weight that I had been carrying, all that pain, it had dissipated. And I felt peace. I truly surrendered to God. Um, I knew I was a sinner and that only Jesus' blood could wash away my sins for good. Even after all this time, I knew that everything I went through, that God has always stayed with me. Um, I was put to the test many times throughout the years, but His love never fails. My husband Mitchell and I, uh, we had always been friends since we were very little, but it wasn't until high school that I kind of saw him differently. And um, we started dating a year after we graduated in 2011. And that was when I, saw my best friend go through something that the worst thing that anybody can go through and that's the loss of your parents. I knew that God had put us together for a reason and I knew that I loved someone more than I loved myself. But three years later we were married and then a year after that we welcomed our little bird and then when she was eight months old I woke up one Sunday morning and I came to First Baptist Church and I was immediately welcomed. Um, one of my favorite stories about my early visits here is Miss Annette that sat across the aisle and she made it a point to remember my daughter's name every Sunday. But um, our lives have changed drastically since coming to this church and being welcomed to this family. Since then we've welcomed another child and we've taken on our niece and I know that all that we've been through in just the past couple years would not we wouldn't have gotten through it without God.